All right, folks. Y'all know Donald Trump keeps lying. Y'all know he keeps lying, keeps lying, keeps lying. And he dropped this ad today uh, on uh, social media. We're only going to play 10 seconds of it because I'm not trying to give this fool all his attention. All right, folks, back to our Goldmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Hey, folks, if you're looking for a hot new investment opportunity, I have two things I want to think to you to think about, illegal marijuana and crowdfunding. Now, you just let that sink in for a second. Our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate have created a unique opportunity for everyday investors like you to get in the game for a minimum of $300 or $10,000, bucks, 50 grand or even $100,000. You can get in where you want to fit in. Now, typically, it takes millions, if not billions, to invest in the legal marijuana industry and it can be pretty risky trying to establish market share. However, Transatlantic Real Estate is taking a different approach. They buy the land that supports marijuana grow operations and lease it to licensed high paying tenants. Now imagine being a landlord to a licensed marijuana farm. With the prospects of further legalization and changing public perceptions about marijuana, some investors could end up making serious money over the next several years. The best part is they are using crowdfunding so you can get in now before they take the company public. If you want to find out more, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org to get in now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. Well, I'm going to show you the 10 seconds, then I'm going to come back and show you how he lied. Press play. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please step out of the hallway. Is this what you did? Is this what you did? Is this what you did? Is this what No, kill more. Come on. Right there. Donald Trump straight up lied. Democrats let him into the country. No, it was Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio, his office, who released him. And it was George W. Bush administration allowed him to come back in. Malik, this is a lying president who keeps wanting to blame illegal immigration on Democrats as if Republicans are not on the local, state, and national level. This is a lying tweet and a lying ad. So. <laughs> It, 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 <laughs> you ain't got to defend the lie. Really? Just go ahead and say, no, Rolling, you right. Yourself. Just say, Let Rolling, you right. So instances <laughs> like this make it difficult for um, black conservatives to recruit people to the party. Now, I get what Donald Trump was going. I mean, I, I can say it's fear mongering. It's, it's uh, 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 um, our, our more heated version of what Claire McCaskill did, considering what we just talked about. And it's unfortunate that Donald Trump is doing this. It's something that people do, unfortunately, in campaigns to win. I wish it were not happening, but unfortunately it is. And just like I can have a problem with what Claire McCaskill did, just like I can have a problem with even some of the things that Candace Owens has done, I can definitely have a problem with this. I can't. It's, it's fear-mongering. Lie, Monique. Lie, 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 lie. Right. Well, I mean, he only lies when he breathes. But the point is, the, the point for conservatives ought to be, and I'm not one, but it's not that they should have a difficult time recruiting. They wouldn't if they just would locate a spine. Because true conservatives, the mm -hmm. ones that I used to enjoy sparring against because we disagreed about fiscal policy, mm -hmm. we disagreed mm -hmm. about gun legislation, we had real, there's nothing left. I mean, the, the conservatives are in an identity crisis. And so. what we need I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? Because the, there's a Trumpkin uh, party right party. now. It's not a wing. You know, all of the power right now belongs to Trumpologists. So it, anyone who used to be. No, it's not so at all. All you have to do is look back to the Obama. All you have to do is look back to Obama. We ain't getting away from okay. the subject at hand. <laughs> yeah, it Scott was. and Greg, okay. he lied his ass right. off. In the tweet, but two Scott points. And Greg. Two points. That ad is the Willie Horton 2.0, all right? And it's been endorsed by the president. But the biggest lie and the ongoing lie that Donald Trump tells and the Republicans tell and GOP tell is that immigration, um, uh, crime, the economy, that if it's, not the, if it's not good, if it's bad, they blame the Democrats. And who's in the White House? Who's in the House? Who's in the Senate? Who has the most governorships? Who, who has the most state legislatures? It's all GOP. And they criticize with their, with their base, they criticize Democrats for not joining them in policies that will take away health care and will harm America. Remember, 65% of America 
doesn't agree with the direction the GOP is taking this country in. It's an ongoing huge lie that's got to stop. Greg? Roland, next week marks the second anniversary of when you did wall-to-wall -wall election night coverage, and we were all together when the unthinkable happened. Donald Trump became president of the United States. Number one, do not underestimate the power of fear mongering. Number two, the man is running scared. His party is running scared. So they've taken out all the stops and dropped all the pretenses. He, he's in Missouri tonight. Between now and Tuesday, he's going to be in Montana, Florida. He's going to Georgia, going to Indiana twice, West Virginia, Tennessee, Ohio. The fear mongering now has come down to what you've been stressing the last month, especially the last week. This is going to come down to voter turnout. We cannot allow this to be close enough for them to steal. And th this is the point where you break their electoral backs. And here's the deal. This That's, is the terrifying thing. So I, I got this dude, Akon Defenti. I got to call this fool out. He on YouTube. He goes, how was it a lie? He could have gotten it wrong. How was what a lie? He could have gotten it wrong. He's saying he <laughs> just what is that about? Oh. about Akon, you got to be a dumbass. He could have gotten it wrong. <laughs> That's what a lie is. I mean, it, see, th right? He said, "Right? How was it a lie? He could have gotten it wrong." If you're talking about them, are you saying I, 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 he's, I, talking, again. he's talking about Trump that he could have just been mistaken? Listen, no. And see, that's there's the, a difference between a lie. But but and see, that's mistake. also but the see, Trump but, lies with impunity. But, but, no, but let me tell you, reckless tell you. with respect to but, facts. But Matt Schlapp, yeah, American Service Union. We were on ABC this week, mm -hmm. and Matt Dow got in his behind. And so when it was over, we were all, and he was like, he was going at Matt. And I was like, all right, all right. Was, he's like, well, you, you got a question about Trump, ask me. I said, fine, Matt, why does he lie so much? This is what Matt said, Mr. CPAC. He said, it's not that he lies, he believes what he says. I said, <laughs> therefore, it's not a lie? I said, Matt, that's about the dumbest damn thing I've ever heard in my life. I said, that's like me saying, now, Daddy, I wasn't out hanging out with my friends while your ass came home late. Um, um, son, your ass lying. He ain't gonna say you mischaracterizing what took place. Uh, he, no, he gonna say, son, you're lying. This man lies, and what he did, and his audience. Let's just be real clear: the Trumpets, the Trumpites, and the maggots. All of them, M A G A T S. All of them. They will believe the lie. And then even when they know he lying, they say, well, at least he's speaking his mind. That's that, that's also about the dumbest thing I've heard, believe. Well, see, I, I, think, I think part of it, you can say Trumpkins or whatever, but we're really talking about each person's base. So the people who are more likely to believe whatever it is that a politician says. No, so no, 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 believe. no. We ain't no, never seen, no, believe, no, in that, my no, life, but, but no, believe, but, in but my life, his, we ain't never seen, we have yeah. never seen on a federal, state, or local level mm -hmm. anything this dude, we got numbers, more than 4,000 lies mm -hmm. in the first two mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. and they like, oh, yeah, man, you know, but he speaks his mind. But I, but I don't think, I think it's, you know, it's, I, I don't think that each person or each person who supports Trump, each person actually believes or agrees with what he's saying. But they may defend. But they, ex but they accept it? But, but, yeah, I, but I, I don't think that's like true. They like hearing the lies. Because so I, know a lot of them. Of I, 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 I know a lot of them. Okay. And when we're having our conversations, uh -huh. they actually are pushing back against them. When they're, Where? When we're on Facebook. Where? Whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in person, I know a lot of these people. Hold on. You I'm, mean, I, I, I know it's true. Okay, right. you know, you, it, we, we don't hear that in the news, but I know a lot of people who disagree with things that Trump They're not pushing back because they like those lies. But you don't see it on television. television. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, yes you, you do. do. You, see him, you see him on a whole damn network. No, the, the, the like, for instance, the people who push back. We right. Don't we we don't see people. that on television because but, it's not a sexy story. Well, actually, though. you do see that because you do see people like Steve Schmidt uh, and Rick Wilson and others who have been longtime Republicans. Well, I mean, Stuart black, Stevens. well I'm not, uh, not Steve Schmidt. I'm well, because, first of all, because a lot of the black people just happen to try to be on TV. <laughs> if we really want to be on. You know what? If we really want to be on. Hey, you know, I will say that there's probably some validity to the fact that 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 people don't want to be too critical of the president because they want to be in line with the president. And that's what, hap and that's what happens when... And that, it happens in politics. And, 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 and that's called no guts.